In this quick video, we use a hands-on demo of Python code to find the area under the curve of the receiver operating characteristic. This is a machine learning specific example, an application of integral calculus. Back at the beginning of this segment of videos on integration in my machine learning foundation series, I introduced the idea of the receiver operating characteristic curve, which allows us to have a nuanced and powerful single summary metric to assess the quality of a given binary classification model. And then we spent the last few videos learning about how to calculate the area under curves using integral calculus. And now we can finally come full circle and actually calculate the area under the same ROC curve that we created back in the receiver operating characteristic curve video. In order to do it in a quick automated way, let's jump to a hands-on code demo. All right, make your way to the final section of my subject for Calculus 2 Jupyter Notebook. It's called Area Under the ROC Curve. So you can click on that in the table of contents. If you haven't run this CoLab Notebook in a while, then you might need to click on this text here and then run all of the cells before. Otherwise, we should be good to go. So all of the integration that we've done so far has involved a function. But in this particular situation, we don't have a function. However, despite not having a function, we do have these five coordinates that we can use to calculate the area under the curve anyway. More specifically, when we have xy coordinates like that, we can use the AUC method from the scikit-learn metrics module and so this uses a numerical approach, specifically the trapezoidal rule, which you can read about more here. And we can use that to find the area under the curve. So let's import that method. And then here are the five coordinates from that chart in the slides. So the five points are 0, 0, 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.51, and 1, 1. For convenience, I've written those five out here or typed those five out here for you. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create two vectors, one of all of the X coordinates, so this column of values, and then another of all of the Y coordinates corresponding to this second column of values. And then it's really easy from that point. We just feed these two vectors as the two arguments into the AUC method and boom, we get back an area under the curve of 0.75, which we can confirm visually by looking at this chart. You can see that three quarters of the area is filled in. Hooey! With that, we've wrapped up all of the calculus content in my Machine Learning Foundation series. In the next video, we'll do a quick summary of everything we covered, and then I'll leave you with my favorite resources for digging further into calculus topics of interest to you.